rather than later. And teleport for nuclear down there in bot lane, heal on barrel. So, Mystic and Ben. Gonna be going for a lot more lane kingdom. Yeah. A lot more of what you used to see. Kind of the old school at this point. Once the teleports started coming in. That was there for about a year, maybe two. And now we have some people that do edge back towards the lane summoners. Although the teleport is also a lane summoner in its own right because it allows you to control the lanes, not to lose too much XP, and have a bit of power in that way. As no invades are going to come up here, just straight up cleanly legends. As we take a look at the runes, we do have, let me count them, one, one Scorch. Yeah, Scorch on two, two, there's one on Karma, two. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, but the, the karma, karma one is infinitely more acceptable than the Cinder one. one. The Cinder one, you're up against the Neko, you're running heal, he's running teleport, you're probably not going to kill him. Okay. Ever. Yeah. So, the Scorch just really a non-factor, not going to scale as well. And Showmaker rolling a bit bad on RNG. Flash is just going to be able to walk up, throw a few, and get... Oh! <laughs> he got, got it. Got most of them. Yeah, he got five. Yeah. I mean, it's still good. And missing the sun is Showmaker. Already threw one of his corrupting potions. Now, here's the thing is, look at the incoming third minion wave. If Showmaker doesn't push this too quickly, then he can use these spellcaster minions before they go into the turret to insta-shove this wave while having the melee minion buffer a little bit. And if he does that, he cheater recalls into a corrupting coat or a dark seal and a control ward, and then the lane is in his favor, Echo is down to corrupting potions, and he ends up cheating out Echo's teleport. But instead gonna lock himself in the lane, and you have a rock side and full clear, so no one's achieving anything. <laughs> well done. Give a nice round of applause for that one. It's, it's more of the norm here. Rather than the exception, Alice. So we will uh, thank you once again for explaining that. We'll see if it happens in the next game as well. Wouldn't be surprised. We did have Nuggery starting with the call up in the top lane. As our observer pointed out, but it was in green, so I wasn't sure if you guys caught that. So he's really just looking to shut down the Aatrox here and get ahead through the call. Yeah. Did a really good job up there in top and in here for a dive with the Syndra. Okay, going for the knockout. Hungry takes aggro though. That's a bit unfortunate. Kang has to flash away. Oh my! Steel. Oh boy, they're gonna get the kill. Hungry goes down. That was a dirty dive. A bit of dirty dancing at the end. As Fly is just hanging around mid lane, we'll get a nice little lead as that dive was. Very unfortunate. That was the opposite of several. <laughs> that was the most unclean thing that I think that we've seen on the broadcast today. I don't think your, the, your gloves would help them out too much. No, I don't think so. I will... I'll, I'll tell you that much. He was... He was dead to rights on that dive, but the execution out of Don Juan... That's much to be desired. That is true. Nuggery is going to be locked down here. He does have Flash. First of the year, waiting until the last one. Tim! Dread is going to go down. With the dust on the back of that one. He has a lane pushing into him. It's still ultimate teleport available. Oh. Dark side is top. 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 <laughs> I got it. Nice. <laughs> He's so devoid of emotion. <laughs> so cold killer, man. 1v3. As that was a really good outplay by Nuggery, getting the sun on police and. Two kills for the cannon, two PA Aatrox. As Showmaker 
is dishing out a ton of damage on Fly. The problem is, though, is that Fly still has teleport. And he's in this lane, Showmaker, with a very mana intensive build that allows him to obviously cast more spells or take damage, even though he doesn't actually have damage items. Takes a turret shot. Yeah, he takes a couple. Yeah. Fly. Was not level 6, so he was zoned out of mid. Looks like he missed a cannon because of it. And now he can be a lot more aggressive because he has the answering ultimate to whenever Showmaker wants to throw that out. And then roaming bottom lane, but the lane is not a good spot to go for a gank. At this point, not much is really going on outside of those botched attempts up in top lane where Damwon need to actually secure an advantage from. Kindle Gem, picked up by Aatrox, Drawn Shield, Double Long Sword, as Proto Bell is going to be the end of choice for Nuggery, who has Spell Book into the Ignite. So, going to be looking for Lane Kingdom sometime soon, as he oh says, boy. I'm just now. Yeah, he's going in for the Z Ignite. He's not going to help out too much, but the sun comes down. But it's still a successful play by Keen because he knocks him out of the lane. There's still no teleport. Yeah. He will get a small advantage there. They trade ultimates. And ultimately, Keen will move ahead. Ultimately? By trading ultimates? Wow. Yeah. Wow. You, you are. You might have been the only one in combat. That's the worst thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, they call, call me brilliant about this. I can. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, you got it. I didn't pick, pick that, that one up. up. <laughs> Fly just on the Echo Duty. This, this is where Echo starts to become really gross to play against when he just starts his Q spam wave clear. Now, I'm actually really not sure what this growing Korea trend is where you recall into Build Bear with Dark Seal, Joron's Ring, and Corrupting Potion. Seems like someone probably did this. Yeah. On a stream or something, some famous player. And now a lot of people seem to be copying it, but given that everyone just sort of plays ping pong, it doesn't really <laughs> too much. Yeah, uh, maybe it's totally a little bit different. Fly is the gatekeeper here. He's gonna get stunned. Do they have the first damage? Yes, they do. Once it's done, Breaker gonna have to go home with her. Sitting on their hands. See if they can try to steal this here. They're gonna wait till the last second because the smite will come down and that one will be able to pick this up. That's a nice rip pick pickup for them. Infernal Dragon coming up in three minutes. And if they can actually hit tier one turret with their hate clear duty, it's really hard to actually get mini waves onto his turret and start chipping away at it. And so it tends to be a very healthy turret in the mini game. an initiated lane swap. Obviously, by Dom one here, they're keeping up really well in the seat as metaphysic, not really occurring the kind of advantages that one would expect. Able to dodge out a lot of the Elias abilities, at least. It's probably part of the reason why this lane has been really kind of passive on both sides. Ben does have a 100% hit rate against Oxygen. What Ben is to get in there? <laughs> oh, his hit rate against Oxygen as well? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Nothing but yeah, air. It's just perspective. Yeah. It's true, it is true. true. Yeah. Perspective is important. See, Showmaker doing the best so far, 9.1 CS per minute. Take another look here 